Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putty, and welcome back to Putty Fucks Around with Tactics for half an hour. Um, <laughs> so, this is what I've come up with off screen. Um, first of all, I haven't put any instructions in, it'll be the same ones. Uh, retain possession. Mm, I think I'll leave these again for now. Uh, playing wider, though, yeah, yeah. Get stuck in, prevent that, and I'm gonna go for a much higher tempo now. Um, right, so the reason why I did this is I want somebody sitting in front of the back four protecting the back four. And uh, for me, that's gonna be Ramirez, because we don't really have anyone better, unfortunately. And um, I've decided to play a flatter back four, although it doesn't look completely flat there, it is flatter. I brought Felipe Luis in, because he is just. Incredible in terms of attributes. That is that is nuts. You compare that to um, you compare that to Cesar Aspelaqueta. Oh no, Aspelaqueta is actually quite good. But you compare it to Branislav Ivanovic, and uh, I mean, there's just a few missing attributes here. And then you look at Felipe Luis, and I mean, it's just it's just solid. And I'll just I'll just give him a go on the left hand side and see how he goes. Um, pushing him further up the pitch. Because Schuler is now on the left and he's operating as a Ramdeuter. We've got Willian on the right uh, as a winger, and then we've moved Hazard inside again because I wasn't going to play him on the right hand side, um, despite the fact his dribbling is incredible. Uh, I haven't picked this position yet, actually. I think I want him to play as a shadow striker. Yeah, I think I'll keep him as a shadow striker for now. And. De Fabregas couldn't play as a defensive midfielder really, so I'm going to put him there. And I know this is weird as hell, but I mean, it, it fits our team. It means that everybody in the team is in their preferred position. So whether or not it's going to work, I, I have no clue. But, I mean, let's just hope we get more goals out of it, because quite frankly, we need... I want a, I want a structured but attacking formation out of this. Because I, I we need more goals. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's what it is. We 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 do need more goals. Let me have a look at uh, see if I'm correct on that one. Not team stats. Premier League. There you go. I want the full. Can I have the full table, please? Thank you. Stoke is still top of the league, by the way, with a game in hand over Man United. <laughs> All right. Um, you go, Chelsea. Chelsea. So we have scored seven goals in seven games. It's it's not good enough. It really it really isn't. Most of those have been in the same game too. I think I'm pretty sure we haven't. I'm pretty sure we've been kept out like three times. So I th we just need to. It's good. That's a good sign. Uh, there we go. Because Swansea are next opposition, by the way. So I don't know. I don't know how this new tactic is going to work. Probably fucking around with tactics is probably not the best idea. It's probably best to just play the same formation, play the same tactic, the same style. But honestly, I have no clue what style we should be playing. So until I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck around with some tactics. So yeah, let's have a look at our training at the moment, actually, because are we going heavy into it? Three unhappy players isn't too bad. Team is what I actually want. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're about as heavy, I think, as, as as we can go into team training for now. Uh, training the tactics, I mean. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. Yeah, they all need match fitness. Why can't I set match fitness? Okay. Sixty. Yeah, sixty. Okay, cool. Because uh, they're not. I mean, we've got an international break uh, with a few of those players. I wouldn't let them play if we didn't have an international break. With all of our older players down there, they still only managed a one-one. Like, then again, it's the end of twenty-one, so I can't imagine all of our younger players were allowed to play. Oscar played. It's actually it. Oscar was the only... Oh, and Felipe Luis. Who was taken off 60 minutes in. Oscar got the full game, apparently. Okay. 
Fleming Grenier was down there. Alright. Whatevs. Whatevs. Fabregas apparently impresses for Chelsea. <sighs> Ooh, it's Liverpool versus Arsenal. That'll be fun. I won't even bother. Uh, yeah. We got an international break, unfortunately, which means we are going to have a little bit of downtime. Nine days isn't too bad, actually. We, we've flown we've flown through it uh, so far. Ooh, yeah, I didn't decide, I decided not to set any international instructions for anyone, mainly because it's October, and I, most of the European teams will be playing qualifiers, so I probably won't be able to set international instructions for them. But, yeah, the other, the other reason was I just wanted to give them a rest. No point, uh, well, no, that's not true. I just, want, I just wanted to let them go off and, and play for their countries, because I just don't see any reason in keeping them back and giving them a rest when we've got a couple of... I'm in the middle of seeing why. <laughs> seeing why it's okay to let them go off and play for their country and then that happens. That's not, not, it's not dreadful. It's not dreadful. We just replace him with Aspilicueta. We've got decent depth in full backs. It's when the left back gets injured. Um, that's when our depth kind of goes away because then we only really have one choice in left back. If we're playing Felipe Luis at the time, uh, going with a going with if, if we're playing Felipe Luis and he gets injured then we'll only have Aspilicueta to play at left back and if As we're playing Aspilicueta and he gets injured then we'll only have Felipe Luis to play at left back and then once you move Aspilicueta over to left back for either situation you've only got one right back in um, Ivanovic unless you want to play Kurt Zuma out at right back so yeah, whatever what the hell? Oh, San Marino. Fair enough. Anybody that we, anybody of ours in that uh, in that scoring lineup? No, is it Chelsea? Don't have that many England players, do they? I don't think we have a player in the England squad. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll think about it. I don't think. Except for John Terry, who's retired from international football, there isn't an England player in our starting eleven, so it's not that ridiculous of a thought. Shit, that's something I should work on. <laughs> what's Chelsea's? I'm sure we've looked at this before, but what's Chelsea's youth squads like? Squads. I'm just trying to. There you go. Potential is what I'm looking for. Oscar. And then Funky Go. Nathaniel Chalaba. Isn't he? Yeah, he's English. See? We have one English potential. He could be. Well, he could be three and a half stars, or he could be four and a half stars. Or he, you know, could be four stars. But still, that is not. That's not bad. He goes here. Centre mid. With. Not very good defensive attributes, but decent. passing attributes. Might need to look at him when he comes back. Might need to take a look at him. Do need to start filling the youth academy up with some more English players, mind. Because the fact that we've only got one English player and I start not having isn't a great idea. <laughs> it's not awful by any means, but it uh, isn't uh, something I'd like. Lewis Baker for one month. Okay, you can take him for one month. We don't. We shouldn't need him in the next month. We haven't been playing him recently, and we have that um, Graham Yeager. I'm play. I'm playing this very sporadically. The problem is, I'm. I'm not. I don't have as much passion for it as I do some of the other series. But um, I. I. I want to give it a go. But I'm just because we're doing so. Well, I'm doing so badly in this series. I just. I. I I'm losing passion for it very quickly. But uh, one second. Huh? Cool. Yeah, because, I mean, he does have a pretty good chance of breaking into the team because he's already been playing a couple of games for us this season. I think he's a very good player. He scored that really good goal in preseason, which impressed me. So there's always a chance, son. There's always a chance. 
Alright, I'm going to unplug my headset. No need to have a headset on. When am I playing football manager? Former favourite support buddy. I'm under pressure, am I? And if I, I think uh, Frank Lampard, yeah. You want to extend this guy's loan. Oh, he's English, see? A lot of English centre mids we got coming up. Except off, uh, yeah. Am I really that under pressure? Am I really under pressure? Or am I just a little bit? I'm insecure. Is if it's in the forties, yeah, I feel, I feel okay about that. Ugh, performances haven't been great, have we? <laughs> uh, Diego Costa is not in form. John Obi Mikel, they didn't like that transfer. Hulk, they have. I I will. Oh shit! I forgot about Hulk a lot. I mean, how how long do we have until he's back? <gasps> he's back. Is he back? How fit is he? He's not very match fit, but he is kind of back. I'm wondering whether. Well, I'm wondering whether we we start this match with our new style, and then we switch if Hulk comes on to the old style and see how it works. I don't know, because I like Hazard in the middle. I don't know where, I don't know where I push Schuller. Maybe up front. That's a good idea. We push Schuller up front if Hazard, if Hulk comes on. All right. Let's see if we can get back to winning ways against Swansea. So Branislav Ivanovic picked up an injury on international duty, and Hulk is back from injury, but not a hundred percent. So we're not going to start him. Alright, let's get this bench sorted. I don't want to play Jeremy Butler. I like Remy can go as that substitute. I put Didier Drogba on the bench as well. So we got options. Oscar should be on the bench. Uh, obviously Hulk. And then the Manya Matic, even though I've just taken him off, should also be on the bench. And then I think we'll put Kurt Zuma on instead of um, Todd Keane. Because Kurt Zuma can play both full back and centre back. And then, and then we we drop Pet to check off the bench for Mohamed Salah. The one day I I drop <laughs> my my goalkeeper off the bench. What just watch Tibu will be sent off now. Your team selection suggests a change of tactic. Assertively, I felt we needed to change things up, but no. It, there may be a few subtle tweaks here and there, but the players are confident they're performing their duties and giving us a good chance of winning. The absence of Brano Slavanovic is sure to be felt. How hard will it be without his services? Uh, we've looked good in training. We're prepared for this eventuality, so we think we should be fine. All right. So, what kind of problem should we come into here? That midfield, <laughs> that that midfield, especially against a team like Swansea, could end up running riot. Nice, the aggressive team talk. Kinda worked. Seen some green lights. Alright, so, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, that midfield it might might well be a problem because we are playing such a thin kind of tactic. We are playing such a... I don't know, I never play tactics like this because we are... We lack so much structure in midfield. Oh, Sheila. Ah, unlucky. Oh, that was a save. Nathan Dyer is an accomplished crosser of the ball. I feel like... like I know letting players stick crosses in is never a good idea. Let's one sec. Before I say anything, <laughs> I feel like letting players stick crosses into the ball is never a good idea. But Felipe Luis almost scored. But I feel like with the height we have in the middle, I think we can deal with crosses. I don't know. Fernandez, Nathan Dyer, that overlap is is something deadly, as as you can see. <laughs> Tibu manages to get uh, get a grip to it. Alright. Well, we haven't played great, but we have not conceded yet. Which is fine. Hazard. Costa, you have to finish that. Oh, it's a block. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Diego Costa does well there. And Tremel's pull out behind for another corner. Uh, one that obviously didn't come to much. Says Oscar quite to get the L card, and that's a poor free kick. Cool. I haven't played dreadfully that um I guess I put the I put the the balance the oh, I think it's meant it's not mentality, is it? 
flexibility, I guess, of the team to very or to just to structured, and so I guess that's why that midfield three is so narrow. But I have also set the team instruction to play narrower, so who knows? Shula looking bright, gets the corner. It's fine. It's fine. All right, not not going too badly. Apparently, we should have had a penalty. Apparently, Wilfred Bonny almost gave away a penalty. Felipe Luiz getting really far up. Shula! Ah! Let me turn this off. Shula is looking bright, but it's that far. Oh, no. Shula's injured! Referee! Put the ball out of play! Yeah, I feel like uh, we are Shula's looking bright, but he is missing that final ball. Alright! We have no choice. There is no choice to who we can bring on here. But do we switch back to the other style, or do we keep our current shape? I think we keep our current shape for now. Uh, we move, yep. Yep. So, we put them both as inside forwards, clearly. Yep, clearly. Uh, on attack duty. Or we put Azard support inside forward. And we change Will Leanne's role, because Shadows... Uh, we'll put it to attacking midfield as support. Yeah, try and link the the lines a little bit. All right, Hulk is back. Can he do anything? Assertively. Um, keep going out there. You can still win. Shit, I put someone deep into thought. That's never a good sign. <laughs> so the po the main point of this tactic is to get Fabregas more on the ball. Um, the, the problem with the last tactic is Ramirez and Fabregas would kind of share possession, and that's not really what I was looking for. Um, I'm more looking for Fabregas to control the play, and uh, that's hopefully what this tactic does, putting Fabregas in a central role. Uh, we originally had Fabregas in a central role behind the striker, but the problem with that was that we were lacking... I think I think he lacks pace in that role, whereas if you put someone like Willian or Hazard in that role, you can close the lines down a bit there. Maybe it's a... It's a it's a situation where we need to look at certain games where sometimes we need that passing behind the striker and sometimes we need the pace behind the striker. And in this game, I think we need... Well, we haven't done anything so far, so I think we do need to just change things up a little bit. Can we please switch to this tactic? Thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not many... We don't need to make changes if we don't want to. Are you still on attack? I mean, no, you're right. Yeah. Inside forward support. In fact, let's keep you let's keep you out wide for now. Well, let's just let's just leave you there, and then inside forward attack. You can shoot. I'll leave you to shoot. Uh, Nemanja Matić. We haven't played him in a while, and then we'll wait to bring Oscar on just in case. Although maybe it is time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I put it, I wanted to put Fabregas behind the striker. Damn, I probably should put. Mm, but that that involves putting someone in Fabregas' role now, because the the actual what I should have done is put uh, Matic behind uh, Matic alongside Ramirez and put Fabregas behind the striker. But what I have done is unfortunately brought Matic on for Ramirez, so now we have no one uh, to replace Willian if I wanted to put Fabregas behind the striker. So that's a thing, unfortunately. Alright. Well, now we're just confined to our own half, which isn't great. I'm supposed to have a quick tempo now, boys. There you go. That's better. It's good play from Matic, actually. That's good play. But now we got to drive, Felipe. Drive. Nice. Ah, oh, Felipe Luis was in. It doesn't matter, because Diego Costa! With his first goal of the season! Finally! Oh, he hasn't scored more, I don't know, but that... That was a good ball. I know it was uh, a bit jumpy. It's because I'm rendering. <laughs> this game has become my render game. When I can't play any other game, I play this. <laughs> That's why the, the loading screens are going to take a bit longer on this. Is because I'm rendering a Fault New Vegas video. And then I'm rendering a Killing Floor video. It's a really good ball from Willian Fair. Not Willian Fair. Oh, Willian Fair play. <laughs> good, good. Nice. John Joe Shelby has been taken off. <gasps> Blasphemy! How dare you! How dare you! Wow, I am genuinely pissed off at that. Gormies. Turns? Whoa! 
I don't know whether to say that uh, you shouldn't have been allowed to turn or whether or not I should credit Courtois for an incredible save. I, I really I really can't tell what's the correct <laughs> correct thing to do here. And the game is not going fast at all. Between highlights is maxed. Highlights are extended though, fair play. Okay. Fair enough. Um Williams played well. I don't know if I should even take him off. No changes, I'll leave it. No point. No need. Gerhard Tremel. Swansea playing a really high line, you know. Ah. Part of me thinks I should have recognised this earlier. But we don't even have the pace to exploit it. It's like, I recognise these things, yet we do not have the personnel to, 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 to exploit their weaknesses. Like, I don't think we have the pace. Um, I, I, like, I think we got a lot of good dribblers, but we don't actually have PC dribblers. I think Willian's fast. I don't think Hazard is actually fast in the game. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, Alright, Swansea are having way too many out attempts on goal here. Yeah. Tibu is looking for... Oh, never mind. Okay. Damn it. Nice. No, Tim! <laughs> I was about to praise you, Tim. Okay, come on, Rangel. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Nathan Dyer was the warning right to the start. Like, do not let him cross the ball. And if he's the one who freaking gets the assist now, they're having way too many crosses. <laughs> Nathan Dyer is. Nathan Dyer, fair play to him, is, is trying his goddamn hardest to, to win this game for Chelsea. Uh, for Swansea. Diego Costa, it's going to fall for Hulk. William. Hazard, he's in way too much space. Ah, damn. Fernandez cleans up, and this should be the last attack of the game. I'm happy with the 1-0 win. I don't even care. Any, anything is... Any win is good. That's it. We get a scrappy, scrappy win, so I will assertively tell them that was a good win. That was a good win. Hulk played not so great, so I can't really tell him. I'm not happy. And he's fine with that. We're up. We got some points. On the board, let's make a slow climb. I'll see you guys next time. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one more game. This one, uh, and this like game. I know this is going to be a short 100% live episode, but i got some stuff to do today. So I will just do the and like game, and then we'll uh, carry on with it. Swansea, blue struggle to overcome. So Swansea did play really well. I don't know whether that style actually works or not. How did we play when we got the goal? Was it the first style or was it the second style? It'll be an analysis probably. Tactics, analysis, goals. No, wait, tactics used, there we go. So, we did score one. It was when we were using that tactic, yeah. Interesting. I'll not include friendlies. I'll just use the league. Yeah. Alright. Your team has become the best... Has one of the best passing success rates in the league. <laughs> I want to win as much as anyone else. The results could be better. Okay. Diego Costa got his first league goal. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Schuller injured himself today. Did he? Oh no. Who did he? <laughs> really? Where? Oh, there he is. Five weeks old, no. Um, cautiously, it's a pretty bad one. My squad is strong. Hulk comes back, Schuler goes out. Schuler was arguably one of our best players this year. You know, I like despised him early on. He's got, he's got our best goal scoring rate so far. Paddy to continue with passing him. <laughs> what transfer off have we got? Don't know him. Take him on loan. It's fine with me. No worries at all for me. Ha. Huh. What am I actually trying to do here? I'm trying to think about how we're going to take off. Well, I'm just like, I mean, I think we can just play the attack information. Maybe we should, uh, well, we didn't concede against Swansea, so. That's, that's a good thing. Like, I was hoping, we, we were conceding too many goals too, as well as not scoring enough of them, so. It was the argument that I needed to show the back up a bit, which I kind of did with the tactic. I tried to make... What I wanted to do with... 
what I wanted to do with that tactic is make the defence and the rest of the team completely separate units, put them into two units, defence and I guess attack, and like most of the midfield being part of the attack. Um, that would be the structured, that would be my, my idea of the structure. Like, the attack is fast-paced, uh, attacking um, play where we, we move the ball quickly in the final third, whereas the defence I want to be slow, don't dedicate, don't uh, expose yourself, um, things like that. So that's what I tried to do with with the tactic. And Well, I didn't see enough in the Swansea game to tell me it's going to work for sure, and in fact I saw a lot to say that it might not because of how how narrow the defend the, the three midfield players played. But, uh, I mean, ch there's a chance that it could work. One thing I'm going to do for all all three of the central midfield players in this game is I'm going to set them to roam from position to hopefully get them a little closer together. That, that would be my aim. Alright, and welcome to the Anderslecht Champions League match. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before we started... Actually, you don't have to roam from position, Ramirez. I want you to stay exactly where you are. Where's roam from position? Oh, I guess roaming playmaker kind of uh, speaks for itself. There you go. Right. Okay. Schiller's out injured. He got injured in the last game, if you remember correctly. Uh, I certainly do. But Hulk is back and yeah, more or less fully fit. And William played really well behind the striker last game, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set William to a supporting attacking midfielder. And then we keep everyone else the same, I think. No, no. Azaz is not a ram dicta for me. He will be an attack, a, uh, an inside forward. In fact, I'm going to try and get him as a winger. I'll get him as a winger. And we'll have him shoot less often. I'm assuming he will just dribble with the ball, get further for. Eh. Eh, I'll leave that one for now. Cross from byline. Where's the running? Where's dribble more? There it is. Oh, already active, good. Stay white, there's already active. Close down more, yeah. I want Azal closing down a lot. I want Ramirez to stay structured, but Fabregas to be closing down a lot more. Close down much more from Fabregas. And William to. Also close down much more. Hulk to close down more. And then Diego Costa to close down much more. And then of course with our back line. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. Mohamed Salah and Kurzuma are unregistered if I remember correctly. So Todd Kane will come in as well as Petr Cech. Who I will actually start today. Andre Schuller I've left on the bench. <laughs> I bring Grenier on because that was the problem we had last time. All right, all right. I think we've got some good rotation going on. I mean, except for Jeremy Borger and uh, John Obi McKell, I'm pretty much using everyone. Yes, uh, it makes things much easier for us. <sighs> Why not? Uh, passionately, we are the favourites here, so go out and get a win. Go out and get a win, damn it. Wait, Suarez? When did Anders like buy Suarez? What? <laughs> Anders Lecht? How did you afford that 75 million? God, have Anders Lecht been taken over by a rich billionaire owner? And suddenly they went out and bought Suarez from Barcelona. Alright, Fabregas. Willian. Oh, a lovely ball! And Hulk puts it in, is he on? He's not. He's not on. I had, a, I had an expectation that he'd be off. Damn. Sorry about my boy, though. I don't even care. This series is so low effort, I don't even care anymore. Um, someone's downstairs doing some dishes, so... Boilers will warm. William, looking... Well, he was looking sharp until he decided to do that. But still, I mean, keeps possession. Aspel Aquieta, Fabregas, good ball. And Diego Costa is off. That's the second offside we've had in the first ten minutes. That's never good at all. Alright. Well, we haven't had any highlights since then, so I'd rather be offside than nothing at all. Actually, I disagree. <laughs> I take that back. I would actually rather not play the ball if I'm offside. I'd rather just keep it, move it back, wait for you know a run to come that's onside. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? That is dreadful. What the hell? What happened to our back four? 
Where was Aspel Equator? One second. There he is. Number 28 there. Once this loads. Oh, I'm furious. Says Aspel Equata scored the own goal, I think. What was Aspel Equata do? Is that Aspel Equata? Whew! I hate Aspel Equata so much. He, he never stays wide. I don't understand why you can't just stay wide. Our freaking instructions say play wider. Keep a structured back for you idiots. Ah, <sighs> oh, I'm so un angry though. I'm so angry that we couldn't keep a start. I'm so, I'm so angry. How hard is it to just, like, you like it right now. How hard is it to stay like that when you're defending? Pick a man, stay to him. It's 11 v 11, you don't have to double up on people, for God's sake. You are playing Anders like too. Just win the balls. You, thank you. You just win the balls, it's not... That hard, you four of the best defenders in the world. Alright, Azad to Costa. Good finish. Good finish. Well there you go. It's good that we see Costa back. Um Costa back in scoring form because he hadn't he hadn't scored before that game against Swansea and that first goal gave him a lot of confidence by the looks of things. Hopefully. It's Willian with a poor pass, unfortunately. He's hit or miss, Willian. He played um Really well against Swansea, but I mean, he's looked dangerous today. It's just you know he needs to get he just he needs to get that final ball right. Sometimes he can't. See, that's good from Willian. It's it's simple, but it's good, and that's really good from Hulk. That is really good from Hulk. There we go. I think I fired him up in the second half. Hulk. I mean, it doesn't look like he's got goal scoring opportunity from here, but he's just done two three defenders. And scored. It's it's a really good finish. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Suitably encourage Costa Azad. See, that's look at the central there because it's a corner. Well, it was our corner, so I'm fine with that. That's the instructions we give him. You know, you can you can go wide four corners like that's fine. We we give you those instructions, but you're a bloody fullback. <laughs> well, now you're centre back, so now you can go centrally. John Terry is injured. I hope that's not a long-term thing. Our injury list has been pretty bad this year. I'm not going to blame it because we should have been playing better anyway. But our injury list has been pretty bad. You go oh, can Hulk conjure up. That's what Hulk can conjure up. We have been missing that from the team. Hulk, man. 3-1, we should have the points wrapped up in Belgium. Yeah, this is Belgium. Is it Belgium? Yeah, I think it's Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Anders Lecht. Yeah, Sporting Liège. I'm a, no, Standard Liège rivals, I think. I might be completely off on that one. Uh, t -t 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 we'll give like Remy a go. Eden Hazard hasn't been great today. So, there you go. Here's Hulk again. Looks like, he's, looks like he wants to create everything, ev something every time he gets on the ball. But he has played, he's played really well today. Where is he? 8.2 representing it. He's not apparently played as well as Costa, because Costa has two goals, but you know. Remy, great header. Costa for his hat-trick. Ah, unlucky. Felipe Luis is knackered. I don't think we can actually replace him. We could if we go three at the back, which I mean, we're three one up. We might as well. Well, <laughs> we're three one up. We might as well go three at the back. No, um, just because we can take... Uh, Felipe Luis off then. I mean, we might be better off just playing somebody in an unnatural position. Nah, we can play Matic Blair and tell these two to to cover a little bit. We'll put them both in. I got it. I got it. My old. I, I had a tactic idea the other day that if I put Aspilicueta left back and K Harry Kane, uh, Todd Kane, sorry, right back. And then we play these two as half backs. They'll drop inside here, and we play a five at the back system. So, hopefully that works. <laughs> Who knows? We'll have to see. I, I'd be interested. I always thought about. It. I was thinking about that as ways to play three at the back. And if you play two defensive midfielders and play them as half backs, then you should be able to do it without any trouble, really. Oh shit, Matic! What are you doing, son? All right. Well, those two defensive midfielders aren't. Uh, 
aren't dropping as deep as I thought they would. But we still got enough players in attack. Hello, cat. Todd Kane. Oh, shit. Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Todd Kane gets it away. Not as far as Halku worked. Absolute, uh, approximately 0.1% to try and get that ball. <laughs> Mitrovic. Offside. Blazes it wide anyway. Boots it up a pitch. Easy for check. Who, by the way, has conceded seven goals in four appearances. I'm not saying uh, Tibu has done much better, but... I mean, that's not a great record. Anyway, 3-1. Let's not dwell on the negatives. Two wins in a row. Is this the start of something wonderful? Who knows? Uh, but I am proud of you, lads. I think we're home against an easy team on the weekend. Have a look now. Uh, yeah, so 3-1. That's good. That's good indeed. Uh, West Brom. So, should be should be a win. But uh, who really knows? Good possession. Let's, uh, let's keep it going. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, as for the 100% live guys, again, sorry for the short episode, but as you can probably tell throughout this episode, a lot of shit is going on that I wasn't expecting to go on at the start of the recording, so I'll see you guys next time.